So I'm looking at you, of course. We have um, a very um, close relationship with our artists because uh, in many ways some of them have produced very um, elaborate, very complex and sometimes very large scale installations. Um, and this could certainly be uh, true of someone like Paul McCarthy who has a huge exhibition on at the moment in, in Ghent. Um, but we, we, we work with American artists, West Coast, uh, including people like uh, Richard Jackson, also worked with Jason Rhodes. Um, and we also work with New York artists, uh, such as uh, Ronnie Horn, Mary Heilman. Uh, we work with a number of uh, European artists as well. Um, we're working with Louise Bourgeois, we're working there with younger generation artists such as Martin Creed. Um, we've also um, had exhibitions of very young artists from Poland, such as Jakub Julian Joukowsky. We've also uh, shown, we showed the work of a Chinese painter called Zhang Enli. We are um, pleased to be working with the artists, but also to have a major collection. The one aspect of the gallery that is, uh, and will always remain important, is the collection, uh, Hauser & Wirth collection, which is housed in Henau, uh, a town outside of Zurich, which is a very, very large um, storage facility with galleries which uh, has works, probably the, the largest private holdings of works by Louise Bourgeois. Uh, so we have some uh, very exciting displays at this uh, collection depot, but also it's, uh, it's a very important part, uh, a very meaningful uh, experience for me to work for a gallery that also is a collector, that is also putting together extraordinary um, groups of works um, for loan to museums and institutions the world over. This is a, a, a series of uh, photographs called um, Some Thames. Uh, these, are, these are photographs which Ronnie Horn took of uh, a spot in the River Thames. Um, it's very close to, to, to um, uh, Ronnie's uh, fascination it's, uh, with, with the changing states of water, organizing water, the way that water is something we might take for granted has very different appearances, colour, shapes, form, and all of this relates to changes in the weather, changes in time, changes in the day. And I think uh, for, for Ronnie this has become a very important series of works. Um, some Thames is always a, a revelation to me. I always enjoy seeing it very much. Um, you'll see these beautiful images where the surface of the water is uh, dynamically changed in each, each image, yet it's the same one spot. I wanted, if I may, just to talk a little about the sculpture on the floor, just because it's a very um, beautiful piece, and it's a work which is um, simply outstanding, I believe. And it's not that uh, there are that many of these works in the world. Um, this is uh, what one might refer to as a sort of doubt block, and it's, uh, a, a, it's solid glass, it's optical glass, which is poured into a mould, it's left to dry. It's left to cool down. Sorry, it takes months for this to actually cool down before we can uh, actually display it. Um, but being made of solid glass, it traps the light in the most incredible way. Extraordinary experience. It's work that's meant to be shown next to a window. That's meant to be uh, uh, influenced by the sun. I mean, here we're in a very fortunate situation being the Grand Palais where there is, uh, it's, it's like being in a very large uh, greenhouse and there are windows everywhere so I'm um, very happy with the way this piece looks here. Uh, it's extremely beautiful work I believe. We okay? <laughs>